Our Citizen First solution has been created to address inclusion and improve the financial health of society in an increasingly digitized economy. Universal accessibility of CBDC is achieved by making its distribution a public good, delivered in partnership with the private sector. The National Integrated CBDC Ecosystem, or NICE, consists of three key components. The first, a digital token-based currency issued by the central bank. The second is the government-operated prime wallet layer, which is the core distribution mechanism of the CBDC. This wallet is issued and identified using the national digital ID. The third component represents an innovation layer in the form of secondary wallets, provided by regulated commercial operators. Starting with CBDC issuance, the prototype uses eCurrency's solution to implement CBDC as digitally signed cryptograms, which are issued and monitored by the central bank. With regards to distribution, the solution features a government-operated prime wallet, which is authenticated through SingPass in our prototype. This forms the basis of nationwide access to the CBDC without the need for additional onboarding. Let's consider Sophia, who does not have a bank account. The government can send medical aid directly and securely into Sophia's prime wallet, accessible via her smartphone. At the pharmacy, Sophia attempts to pay for several items. However, her prime wallet has been programmed against a designated use, so she can only use the aid to purchase medication. Upon purchase, funds are received instantly into the pharmacy's prime wallet. Additionally, our prototype features offline cards which are linked to Prime Wallets. Offline cards enable two-way fund transfers using near-field communication. NFC enables devices with digital wallets or special-purpose CBDC kiosks to interface with offline cards for both transactions and wallet administration. This capability has been designed for circumstances when internet connectivity is unavailable and safeguards against double spending through secure on-card processing and subsequent validation. Our solution delivers a distribution system with extensive functionality. This robust, digitally enabled prime wallet infrastructure improves the efficiency and effectiveness of payments between the government, individuals and businesses. Finally, for the secondary wallet infrastructure, we recognise that banks and other commercial operators play a crucial role in enriching the digital ecosystem. By developing proprietary secondary wallets linked to prime wallets, commercial operators can offer value-added services to meet the diverse needs of their respective customers. Consider Armit, who uses his bank wallet to make a cross-border payment. He initiates the transfer using his bank wallet, which facilitates instant token-to-account convertibility. This connects with the Moja Loop system, allowing Armit to send money to his friend in the Philippines. Secondary wallets enable functional interoperability between traditional and non-traditional payment rails. This promotes the adoption of CBDC into the payments landscape while strengthening personal data sovereignty. Commercial operators can choose their preferred technology without compromising on interoperability. Here we see Armit using a secondary wallet on blockchain. Open source technology and open APIs can fulfill integration and value transfers across the end-to-end -end ecosystem. This is showcased through these four different secondary wallets. A public payment framework like NICE supports extensibility and innovation driven by competition among commercial operators, fostering new ideas, approaches and opportunities for CBDC use. ANZ's purpose is to shape a world where people and communities thrive. We believe that a considerately designed CBDC using public-private infrastructure can work to deliver a more accessible and inclusive future where people are empowered through digital solutions.